Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I actually wanted to talk to you guys, because first of all, I have a project I want to work on. You see, if you didn't know, actually, I actually have nothing posted about this, even on any of my social medias. Uh, I have been getting into making cosplay. I actually know how to sew and I know how to do that type of stuff. So first time playing with EV foam and I've been doing research on it. So what I'm planning to do is, if you've ever watched Invasion's uh, Skyrise or High Rise, I think it's the latter. Uh, they wear all these masks. So I've already um, kind of done measurements for this uh, little mask thing. I got this um, type of paper that you cut for making motifs and cutting for fabrics and stuff like that. So essentially, I measured between my eyes with a, a measurement tool. I forget what a ruler. Well, not a ruler. Uh, a fabric ruler. So I, I honestly can't remember what it's called. Uh, but in any case, I made this. So it's properly placing my eyes. I made sure that's more like lit, more of like a linear slit upward, because these are more of circles. But I, these are just placeholders. Don't worry about that. And if it's a little crooked, yeah, I'm, I'm not worrying about that right now. But I'll be into it. Uh, I'll get into it. Mostly what I'm going into is this kind of rough shape, and I'll be back with you with that one. But um, yeah. Hopefully this actually goes well because I plan to uh, want to make the <laughs> I want to make this by all the Halloween parties I'm going to. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it goes well. Hey everyone. So essentially, I have cut out the whole EVA foam thing for this mask that I'm making. Uh, it's not exactly symmetrical because if you could tell, it's not exactly lined up properly. But for the mask itself, it'll make do. So. First time I'm using EVA foam, and what I did was I took a Dremel, this um, this thing, and I put different knobs on it, and I essentially made the holes by cutting it out and roughly getting it how I want it to be. The shape itself was easy, easy to get, but the actual details of cutting things out was really difficult for me. But uh, for, for a first time, not bad. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... Uh, heat treat it, bend it so that it stays in place as like a, a as a mask, and then um, I think then I'm going to begin coating it with a good coat of paint, uh, and then another layer and another layer and layer it on top over and over again. Should be pretty good, honestly. It's coming out not bad. I think when I actually put it on it, this. Even though it won't look perfect, I admit that. But, for the first time for EVA foam. Not the worst thing I could have made, although it is simple. But, uh, I'll check in with you, and yeah. By the way, this is my, uh, lazy outfit that I'm wearing right now. Giant baggy t-shirt. Pajamas. Con no contact, so, yeah. I'll catch you later. And I'm back. So guys, uh, so after going through everything, I uh, essentially coated the paint for this mask and I actually got all the details in and everything. So let me give you a rundown of what I did to make this thing. I mean, it's not bad, not... There are details that could be better with this. And let me run down, let me give a rundown of like my uh, first cosplay mask that I've ever made. So. High Rise Invasion, what I did was I gave it multiple layers of spray paints of uh, white, I forget what type of white, but uh, it's spray painted and multiple layers with also additionally a kind of um, a glass finish kind of thing so it shines a little bit more, but uh, not bad all in all because when you add the layers, the rigidness on the edges actually kind of becomes solid and smooth so it's not like um the way it looked when i like actually did everything in the beginning so with this i would say thickness this is way too thick so also i needed to heat treat this more so i actually need to use a heat gun i really don't recommend using a hairdryer right now because that did not work with me maybe i did something wrong or didn't do it right but next time we'll go with the heat gun uh so these straps, I sewed on these little straps uh, so that it works properly. I didn't really get this back piece sorted, but it, I'm not really going to do that because, frankly, 
it's it works it's good and honestly this is like a great like set piece just be like whoop, right there like i don't know but i love this thing right now because this i'm actually kind of proud of it i like it although there is some flaws in it that i have done but i gotta say not bad not bad me good job but um yeah to sum it up when you paint these type of things i recommend going layer by layer and not going fast or hasting things over but uh yeah a lot of the stuff that i got from this was uh from a hardware store and joanne's fabric so this is what you can do with eva foam i mean piece by piece of where you can go like even though I didn't go in detail with this thing, I'm not really complaining. I like it. Anyhow, that's me making this mask. I kind of would like to film the actual production of how to make this or stuff like this, but maybe that's for another day. In any case, I made a mask. Happy Halloween, everyone.